transportation accounts for about a quarter of global energy consumption and is a major source of emissions. Since the introduction of the first steam powered train in 1804, fossil fuels have come to power the vast majority of transport on land, at sea, and in the air. These fossil fuels, such as oil, natural gas, and coal, are non renewable resources. We draw on reserves while the formation of new supplies takes eons. By using these fuels, we release massive amounts of carbon that has been previously trapped deep underground into the atmosphere in the form of CO2. This needs to change fast. But this change will require a broad range of solutions. Electric vehicles are often heralded as the solution and they will be key to reducing emissions, but electrification alone won't be enough. Electric vehicles are projected to replace less than 15% of fossil oil use in transportation by 2040. We need to embrace all other solutions. Hydrogen can help, but we need to exponentially scale up the production of green hydrogen, which today represents only 1% of hydrogen production. This will take time. E-fuels made with hydrogen and CO2 look very promising, but they also require green hydrogen. Renewable fuels are an important part of the sustainable mobility puzzle. Renewable fuels are made from sources that are constantly regenerating. When produced from 100% renewable raw materials, renewable fuel use can result in a greenhouse gas emission saving between 75 and 95% over the fuel's life cycle when compared to fossil fuels. In 2019, renewable fuels replaced close to 4% of all the fossil oil used in transportation around the world. Substantial investment and the inclusion of new raw materials could allow for close to 40% of today's oil consumption in transport to be replaced. Renewable fuels enjoy another major advantage. They can make use of existing infrastructure and can be used today in existing cars, trucks, planes and ships. Renewable fuels are a proven solution, available now with rapid scale-up potential. It's clear that we need to make the change from fossil fuels to renewable solutions, whether renewable electricity, renewable hydrogen or renewable fuels. Change runs on renewables.